parallel with scientific knowledge right now has been understood um, in the domain of say physics, but now people are also recognizing that this is what will open further doorways of understanding in psychology itself, because psychology has been more um, a kind of a machine paradigm, right? You have in, uh, input and then output, you have uh, stimulus and then you have response. And the individual has been taken out of it. And Correct. in fact, this is a crisis of psychology. Where is the individual? Where is freedom? Because, and this is also a crisis of medicine because in medicine, uh, allopathic medicine, there's no room for the mind. Mm. You're only uh, dealing with the body. body. And, and, and what's happening right now is that 60, 70, 80% of medical research cannot be replicated. This is called the uh, reproducibility crisis of modern medicine. Mm. And, and probably, and there's also the placebo effect. 30 to 40% of the people, if they are given sugar pills and told that they're giving, they're being given a medicine, they'll get well. Mm -hmm. And uh, placebo effect even works in surgery. If mm -hmm. uh, the patient is told that surgery is being performed and the doctor just makes an incision and does nothing and then mm -hmm. closes the incision, the patient gets well also, 30 to 40%. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, 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 this is incredible. And this is the frontier of medicine right now. But part of the problem is that Modern medicine has no room for the mind. The mind. And that is the very heart of um, Indian approach to reality. Indian approach embraces both the body, both the outside, as well as the inside. Mm. And that's what's required for sciences as well. And mm. that's, that's the reason why, you know, a lot of um, thoughtful people are saying that the next fundamental change that will take place in the sciences would be informed by all these uh, Vedic ideas.